What's up, everybody? We back with another message, another video. Thank you to all my new subscribers and future new subscribers. You know we do nothing here without God because everything is spiritually led by God over here. We cover the world from a spiritual and physical aspect to get the raw, real, and uncut answers. So anything you hear, anything you see in these end times, may you test the spirits, a.k.a. take the words and visuals back to prayer with God, as there are many Decepticons running around in these end times sent from the enemy, had a strong, close, and personal relationship with God. Good, great, and awesome. All right, everybody, June 29th, 2024, on a good old Saturday warning dream. It's like a confirmation of what the Lord was telling me regarding the cancellation of orders. So this is not no fear-based thing. You know, this is not going to be none of that. I'm going to pray first. I got this organized format. We're going to talk about it. I'm going to answer some questions people ask from the first go round of the videos. But this is something that a lot of people I don't think are understanding what the Lord is trying to communicate. We're going to talk about it. Let's pray first. Father, I bind and rebuke the spirit of anxiety, fear, urgency that the enemy may be giving in the name of Jesus Christ. May there be peace. May you assist me in this word to give clearly to your people. May it be all of you guiding and none of me in the name of Jesus Christ. And please, please, please give your children an ear to hear and to listen and take back to you in the name of Jesus. Please, Father, please, please. We thank you. We love you, our Father. Amen. Oh, one more time. In any gateway that is open, may there be gateways closed to those listening to this message in the name of Jesus Christ that the enemy or kingdom of darkness may have. May those all be closed in the name of Jesus Christ. And due to my intercession, through intercession, if the enemy can attack me through any open gateways, anything, may that all be closed up in the name of Jesus Christ. If the enemy is here, the kingdom of darkness may be present. May they be removed by force, by your heavenly angels, via your command, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you. We love you, our Father. Amen. Doors closed behind everything. All right, so let's talk about the dream here, ladies and gentlemen. Please take this back to the Lord for those that understand what that means and knows how to do it, <laughs> okay? If not, learn how to and take your time with it in patience. So the dream. I had a dream that I was with individuals outside, like a grouping of people, and they had their phones out. And I saw the blue screen on their phones. And while I was pretty much looking at what was going on, I was warning people and telling them, hey, this is coming, this is coming. Like I was saying, something's coming, something's coming. Like, I'm trying to tell y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all. And people in the dream were looking at me like I was crazy. Like I was super crazy, just like people was when I gave the word the first time. So in the distance, I saw this dark army. It was an army of darkness, literally. And I had the knowing that something really dark was coming and he was allowing it to show up for a particular purpose, okay? But the rate that the army was approaching was slow as if the Lord had controlled the rate that they were incoming due to his grace and mercy because they could have sped up, but I could see in a distance, okay, that's that army, but they're moving so slow because of God's grace and mercy. So whatever the enemy is going to be allowed to dish out in this next level of things, God is slowing his rate down of getting to us. That's what that interpretation was. So then I woke up, all right? So what does this mean exactly? All this was was confirmation of the prior warning the Lord gave about the enemy trying to keep more track of who has what, who's doing what, and this digital space okay so basically the lord is telling people we need to be a little bit more smart in every way not just you know what people call in the wealth transfer but every way because there's a next level of trial coming and i'm going to talk about that in a minute and how that correlates to his warning and why he was upset with people moving ahead of him okay we're going to talk about it again in more detail, just a little bit. But I'm gonna answer a couple of questions 
that a lot of people were asking. All right. So people will go, well, Satan's been trying to track us like this is nothing new. He really hasn't been trying to track us. He really hasn't been bothering us this whole time. Maybe there were certain little things he was trying to put in place, but he really hasn't been next level trying to do stuff. It's not been intense. So really, no, he hasn't. And then people say, well, all we got to do is pray over our stuff in God's protection. Well, here's the deal. There are a lot of people who aren't supposed to be in this or supposed to be in anything that they're hearing about. I don't care if it's a currency physically. I don't care if it's an oil company, a gas company. I don't care if it's crypto. I don't care if it's the market, your Walmart down the street. God is going to take over all areas of the earth and show who he is, that he is the creator and he's going to use his vessels to advance his kingdom and save souls and so forth. Right. That comes with a lot of training, though. So if you're saying a prayer to protect something God never told you to do, it's not going to be answered because you didn't ask him in the first place to be a part of it. You know what I'm saying? Or if it was for you. You didn't ask for permission. Remember, we can't go ahead of God. And that comes with learning how to test the spirits, learning how to take things back. So that means you can't move too quickly into things because you hear other people say stuff. And we're going to talk about that too. Platform accountability for a lot of people. Okay. People don't mean wrong, but you know, they don't may not notice what they're saying or doing and how people are looking at them and may idolize them or look at them like a god or something. I don't know. But next question, we've been told to do orders. People are saying this, people are saying that. It's not about what that person has told you to do. It's about what God told you to do. God may have told certain people to position in certain things like a currency, like a company, like crypto, because there are many things he's doing in the bigger picture that is going to allow people to have a next level type of responsibility with things in coming. There will also be physical types of blessings, spiritual, like responsibility with spiritual gifts. It's a lot being transferred for his kingdom and to help save souls, but also building certain things for his kingdom on earth. Remember, on earth as it is in heaven. So if you didn't seek the Lord who's in heaven, what you think the result's gonna be on earth? Y'all get what I'm saying? So to answer some of those questions, now let's talk about next level blessings and next level trials. The problem is if you went ahead of God and reset orders without seeking him, trying to reposition yourselves, as you say, and not miss certain things. We said before that it doesn't matter if it's open or not, your orders, because God can skip right over you. It's about what he told you. Y'all understand? Not the person next door, not that YouTube channel you looked at yesterday. That's why I say seek the Lord and please make sure you learn how to do so. See, a lot of people were being trained for next level blessings and trials, but a lot of people weren't listening to the Lord's correction and instruction on heart posture and all these other things. And seek me, please seek me so you don't get caught up in next level deception. Because with this blessing is next level trials. And that was the army I saw coming. God will allow Satan to do certain things to keep you tested. We always go through tests. Don't think you're getting something and you won't have trials. So a lot of people have positioned themselves in a next level blessing and they're not ready for the next level trials. They're not ready for it. But they're waiting for something next level and ain't even got past the level they at. 
But that's also platform accountability because a lot of people, the way they give out the words, they're not explaining to y'all the importance of heart posture, not a lot of people at least, heart posture and how this is important that next level deception can really mess people up who are not trained to see it, who are not trained and have experienced the lower level deception. I'm telling y'all, Satan is very cunning and he will do things that you don't even think about off the top of your head because he's also a roamer in the spiritual world and we don't see that but god will reveal this to us part of his protection is warning and that's what people are not understanding okay so the next level blessings come with next level trials and that army of darkness more so is incoming for us to be tested for everything that God told certain people to be put to a next level test. Will you still be the same person with a blessing? Will Satan be able to convince you to give it away? Be able to convince you to turn to the other side? What is it that Satan's going to try to do to you, right? And God will reveal that that all is coming, trial is coming with the blessing. So that's what that was. And then the Lord revealed to me, he said to me, the closing of accounts in terms of this crypto space. So I couldn't say that before because people were kind of already in a panic and I'm gonna explain it. So listen, selective listeners, you ready? Okay, cool. People who tried to play God for a fool who ain't trying to seek him at all, right? And they think they're going to make it big and their hearts is like Judas. Yeah, your stuff getting shut down because you're not going to play with God. And he's given grace and mercy even to you to move out and start over at square one. But you didn't want to do that. So now you're going to not have access to any of your funds or anything because you thought God was a joke. No, but for the people who have a certain type of heart, God is fair. Everybody's results and the way you're judged looked at is different. You know, he's fair. So you may have a heart for him and you're just trying to figure things out and he will help you. He will give you clarity and understanding. He don't want you to rush, but he do want you to understand there are a lot of next level things that Satan is going to try to do. Okay. And maybe not a lot of you are ready for that next level. Because imagine getting a blessing and then being able to be deceived in that next level, but you were never trained to deal with that deception. I'm telling y'all, that's how a lot of people get got and mammon is the source of it. Okay, mammon is the source. And we've got to check our hearts because this is not going to be something you can imagine how it's going to play out in any way. The pouring out of the spirit, the bad stuff, the good and bad at the same time, like to people getting their results. This is real, y'all. This is what the Lord said. You must seek your father. So he's just giving you, come to me, speak to me. Let's get this together. He's merciful. He's in control. Okay. Platform accountability. A lot of people that give out these words, and I told y'all last year what God was giving me, just because somebody have a dream about a sale order doesn't mean they're supposed to get on and share it because not everybody's going to try to set it. But God may not have told them to share that, so now everybody's jumping on a bandwagon, and they're not supposed to. And now it's causing harm and a domino effect of orders, 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 right? So people getting on these platforms, sharing private decisions that the Lord told them to do. Now people are listening to that and they're following suit. But God never told that person particularly to do it. So that's where accountability needs to be taken, you know, and even for myself, like the Lord has given me words about this stuff. But he's always told me to tell people to seek him because not everything was confirmation for everybody but they made it confirmation for themselves. Y'all understand? So I'm always careful about when I speak on anything. 
I always say, go back to God because now you know, hey, I need to make sure I'm on the right track. But a lot of people get kind of upset when I say that, but I had to do that because I'm trained that way. That's the training, the protocol to make sure that people are not looking at you like you're God. That's why that is always said to y'all. So I hope everybody understands this message slash warning. And again, seek the Lord, learn your own relationship patiently and take the time to seek the Lord. It's OK if you miss certain things. You aren't going to get it anyway if you weren't prepared for the next level trial. Just saying. So peace and blessings and I will catch y'all in the next one.